All right, hi there, everyone. We're going to be watching a little bit of a video here, a little demonstration. And wow, look at that guy over there. That is one fierce looking tribal man. Oh, that hurt. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, we're going to be watching a little bit of Far Cry Primal. And basically, just have a look at the graphics. And I have done another video of this just with music, and uh, someone requested that I make another video and uh, just do a bit of uh, narration as well so why not uh, basically you start as the uh, main character here who is called I believe Tarak and Tarak is a primitive type character he's like a caveman almost what you need to do is work your way to the top of the food chain pretty much you start off as a almost caveman type um, figure with uh, very limited resources and uh, you're in the stone age and food is scarce basically you got to do all your own hunting and get all your own weapons make them and by doing that you upgrade um, so there's a few beasts there we've got some mammoths and um, what you can do with beasts uh, like the mammoths is you can um, ride them you can also get them to be on your side um, and the way you do that, you've got to tame them, basically tame the beast. And to do that, you need to um, scavenge food, uh, hunt for food, like uh, from wild animals, give them to um, any animal you want to tame. So for an example here, what we've got is a wolf, and uh, he's just over there, minding his own business. He sees us, he's afraid, we throw him some uh, food, and then he thinks, hmm, that's nice food, and he eats it. And then we go over, take our weapon down, show him that we've got no weapon. And we press the square button, and that tames the wolf. So now the wolf's our friend, man's best friend. And he will now be able to... Uh, he comes along with us, as you can see over there on the left. And he comes along, and we can control him and get him to help us. So if there's some tribe or primitive um, type bad guy trying to attack us, we can send him in first, and he will attack and what happened there, I believe, is a big eagle took away something. Uh, the wolf uh, didn't quite get there in time. So everything's realistic. The land's real, landscape's realistic. The trees, the grass, uh, everything's looking pretty real there. Okay, so we sent in a wolf there. What did he catch? He's chasing, still chasing after it. It looks like he's chasing after some wild animal, like a yak or a bull or something with big horns. Look at that. And he tries to take him down by the throat. And he does it, so he's he's caught him. And now we can use that meat for. We'll give first. We'll give him a reward, and we can use the meat there to, as a source for upgrades. And as we go on through the game, I believe you can uh, upgrade many different things. As you can see there, traps. Um, you you can craft different things. Uh, hunting, yeah. So when you're hunting, there you can set traps and all sorts of things. So. Uh, basically there it looks like we're setting a trap and it sort of has the look at that oh, so he got caught in the trap and now we have more resources to keep us alive so we need we need food always need to keep the food and weapons and basically it gets harder as you uh, move on through you need to upgrade oh look at that the guts bag it said so you upgrade as you go along um, on the map, you can see other tribes, you can see uh, basically rivers, streams, you can see how big the map is, it only reveals a little bit at a time, so you need to explore, and it's a huge world, you basically, um, you can go anywhere you like, yeah, things will happen when you least expect them in the game, I believe, and um, yeah, so you... You are really, really like you're out there. So Far Cry Primal. Uh, here what we're seeing is the you can call, um, you're like a Beastmaster. Uh, there's a movie, a, a very old movie called Beastmaster. But what happens is you've got the eyes of the eagle, in this case it's an owl. But you can control the owl, fly as the owl to get a better look at what's around. And you can also control the owl, I believe, and get him to do some hunting for you. So if there's something on the ground that you uh, like the looks of, like you want to attack, or he can come in and help. 
and uh, stealth is obviously very important in this game because if there's a bad guy just like a real human if they see you they'll probably try and kill you so you best to sneak up on them like that if you can shoot them from as far away as possible and look at that right there we've got a look like a jaguar right beside us and we can we're using him at the moment to um like he's our uh, little assistant or a wingman i guess you'd call it you can control the animal so you could send him to if there's two or three targets you could send him off to kill one and while you shoot the other so that's pretty awesome and as you can see there you can change your weapons um that was basically a flaming arrow and what that there that's like a almost like a checkpoint so basically as you get to different areas it's almost like a radar really in other games you set up a little radar that's what that is it opens up the world and lets you see more and uh, in this part of the game here look we're right we're gonna ride on a mammoth how cool is that <laughs> so sitting up on top of the mammoth that is unreal obviously tamed him so there goes a bad guy see you later can still throw a spears at the spears off it very lifelike so uh, here's another mammoth we're passing and look at that that's a great view there and here we're patting a look like a tiger or a lion probably a yeah it's a lion sorry it's a, a lion um, and you can tame all the beasts and become a real beast master I believe the saber-toothed tiger with the big fangs at the front is probably the most ferocious animal you can get in this game. Probably one of the most useful is what we're looking at now, though, from a bird's eye view down on everything that's up ahead. Almost using him like a drone to see what's up there. You see the areas before you go in and risk your life. And you can do do attacks even with the um, with the bird. Swoop in and attack. And that was the saber tooth right there. Now you can run and do your charge. Throw a spear at someone's head like that. Send in the saber. Look at that. He rips them to shreds in seconds. All oh, right through the heart. So it's pretty realistic gruesomeness too, like the gore is on. Well, good for some. Some people like it. I love it. I love zombie games though. But then we, and there you go. There's a saber tooth. Well, look at the bear. Bears coming in. Tame the bear. So you want to do make sure you tame the bear the right way. You don't want to get on his bad side. He'll certainly kill you straight away. And there you go. You can run. Different weapon you got there like a double arrow bow well look at the bear awesome and here we are back on the bird view bird's eye view and there we are so i might end it there thanks very much for watching please uh, like subscribe greatly appreciate everyone who subscribed so far and uh, i'm going to keep making videos for everyone and any requests in the comments anyway thanks for watching and that's far cry prime well, i can't wait for it to uh, come out in full and play that game so this is almost just like a review. Bye for now.